Hi everyone! Welcome to the next episode of The Sims 4 Discover University. I have a little bit of light outside today, so hopefully we can use the camera a little bit more today, though it may be a shorter episode if the light gets bad. Let's not waste any time, let's go straight into the game. We left Clara miserable in the last episode because she had kind of failed her first term due to my own mistake. And also she was so exhausted from trying to catch up that she hasn't had any fun. Let's see, when is her next class? 23 hours and 21 hours. She only just started her homework, so we need to make sure she's doing it. But I don't see her homework in here. This is from high school, so that's not going to work. We are looking for a black and white notebook. Let's see if she has it here. No. Oh, here's one. Okay, she's going to steal <laughs> her roommate's notebook. Who's this? Okay, so she's sitting on our roommate's bed, but she's not a roommate. Ooh, these are such cute little succulents here. Aww. And this poster, it's very well decorated, very chic. We need to do something with our side. I don't know, it's kind of messy. Though I do like the little puppies and kittens. That's adorable. I guess it has sort of a familiar or, I don't know, just casual vibe to it. So we use the word vibe to mean kind of a feeling. So the vibe of this decor or these decorations is kind of pretty, sophisticated. Maybe some people might think cold because it's just black. There's no personal touch to it. The vibe here is very personal because you have photos on the walls, kind of messy a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. Did you live in a dorm? Did you go to college and live in a dormitory? And was it this gross? I know mine kind of was, but it wasn't our fault. We didn't make a mess. It was just not kept up well. What's wrong, Clara? She hates the mess. Bad surroundings. Most Sims hate being surrounded by filth and squalor. Okay, Claire, I think it's on you to throw away. Oh, it's Winterfest today. Oh, she needs to do some things or she's going to be unhappy. Maybe she should go home. Let's have her visit her house and her family to celebrate Winterfest after she finishes her homework. It's the Mohawk guy, Christian Moya. She just walked in, saw him, and left. Wow. I guess she doesn't like him. Why do the Sims never do their work at their desk? It's a little weird. I forgot. In the last episode, she actually bought a frog down here. A spotted eggplant frog. I don't know. Is that a real species? I don't think so, but we are going to put it here. Does she have to take care of it? Just view. Okay. It's just hanging out there. Looking around. Okay, Clara. Let's go home. So there was recently a new patch for The Sims. A patch is a fix to some problems in the game. And that meant that all my special custom content furniture and 
wallpaper, all the things made by fans of the game, all of that got deleted from this build that is Clara's house. So I was so excited to show you her house for the first episode, but like I said before, the sound was so bad that I decided not to do it. But now you get to see it. This is her family home. Very modern. A few touches of traditional style too, with the windows and the door. Okay, let's see. Knock on door, Clara. Let's celebrate Winterfest with your family. Oh, I can see her little brother crawling around. She has a little brother who's a toddler. His name is Ulysses. Where did he go? I don't see him now. Oh well, okay. This is her mother, Wendy Barsati. Give Winterfest gift, pet the badger, a children's book, sure. Her mom is kind of childish. That's one of her traits, so she might actually appreciate it. Just what I always wanted! Yay! Yay! Celebrating Winterfest the right way! Even though nothing is decorated, but that's okay. So I'll give you a quick tour of the house. This is the little kitchen eating area. This is her little brother's high chair. We have the kitchen counter. That's what we cut everything on and prepare food on. This is the stove top. We have a dishwasher, an oven, a sink, the most important part ever, a coffee maker, and some tea for those tea drinkers, a refrigerator, a kitchen island or a counter island. You can say either, but it's basically any kind of counter that is in the middle of a kitchen and not attached to the rest. So this is the island. We have some bar stools here to sit on and you can eat from here. And all the dessert, yes. Oh, this is her dad and Ulysses. Oh, Ulysses looks angry. I think he needs a bath. Hey, Dad! I've been having some problems at school, just to warn you. I uh, may have failed one class, but it's okay because it's Winterfest. Let's all be in a good mood. Yeah! I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'll make up for it. It'll be okay. They seem happy about it. Let's continue the tour. So this is a little hallway to get to. An extra living area. This is where they play games like chess or work on any archeology span things they want to do. I don't think they've ever touched this, to be honest. We have a little couch or sofa. It depends on your preference. I use the word couch and sofa about the same amount of times. We have a coffee table, and on top of the coffee table, we have an old project that Clara had in high school to construct a bridge, and the quality is good. Aw, mom and daughter are dancing in the little conservatory. This is a bright windowed room with plants and a nice little wicker sitting area. I love this room. I want a room like this so badly in my own home. I love bright spaces and lots of plants. Ooh, her dad is getting down. Getting down to the dancing. This is her mom's, ooh, it's broken. Her mom's room. She streams beauty blogs. She's very famous, so she has her whole setup here, but it looks like this is broken, so she can't work right now. 
which is fine, it's Winterfest, so. This is a bathroom, but I guess with the mod problem, I lost the door. Oh dear. Going up the stairs. We have Clara's old room here. She has a canopy bed. So any bed that has that frame up here going down and maybe some fabric is called a canopy bed. And the man she loves. Oh, I wanted to tell you about this for so long. This is Bob Pancakes. She is obsessed with this man. She wants to marry him. I think it's the beard. The problem is he's already married and he has a kid about her age. So it's a little weird. She knows she's never gonna have a chance with Bob Pancakes anyway, but she just has him hanging over her bed as she goes to sleep every night. This was her work area. As you can see, some similar pictures on the walls. Some things never change. She's a little messy though. Still some clothes on the floor. Makeup left over from before and her unicorn stuffed animal. Who is this random guy in our jacuzzi? What? Quincy Willoughby, what are you doing in our jacuzzi? Uninvited. You're a complete stranger to us. Well, it is a nice evening, I think, to relax in the jacuzzi or hot tub here. This is a great way to practice the difference between to and toward. A lot of my students have been a little bit confused about when to use which and what the difference between the two is. They're very, very similar. They're both prepositions and they're both talking about going to a place. So right now she's going to the hot tub. Oh, that looks so relaxing, oh my gosh. But she's already done, I guess. It looks like she's going towards her computer. She went to the hot tub. We see that the result is the hot tub and she completed the action by going to the hot tub. When she was going toward the computer, we know that she was going in the direction of the computer, but we don't know that she actually arrived at the computer. Oh, look, it's Santa Claus. Oh my gosh. Let's dance with Santa. Apparently he doesn't want to dance. Can I have a present? Yay, for me. What is it? Okay, dad, I have to go home now. Happy Winterfest! I miss you. Can I move back home, please? Did you ever feel that way when you were living in a dorm or you just left your house for the first time and you just wanted to go back to how things were? You wanted to go live with your parents again? I felt that, which was weird because I really wanted to live on my own. And everything changed when I moved to college. Okay, Clara, today is class and you have to make sure you go to the mall and do really well. So eat a bunch. What are you eating? An omelet, nice and healthy. That's great. Get all that egg, all that protein, and get ready for class. It's starting soon. In only 55 minutes. We have to go. Go, go, go. Run, Clara, run to class. See what I did there. And wait. Wait in the cold but at least it shows that you're a good student. Okay, she's off to class. Let's see what happens. I'm so nervous. <sighs> Maybe she'll do better. Oh, she has to give her presentation too. We'll have to do that in the next episode. Make sure that she does that well. 
What's nice is that in the next episode, she is going to have a few days off from school. So hopefully that will mean that we can have her socialize a bit more because so far she's been just trying to catch up. It's terrible. Oh, what is happening here? That is quite disturbing. Uh, okay. All right, Clara, go have some fun, and we'll follow you in the next episode. Okay, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe below to continue following Clara and any other future videos that I'll be doing to help you learn English. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye.